Hello everybody, this is Mr. Patrick Fitzsimmons here with another video scripting tutorial for Second Life. And first I would just like to say that, uh, sorry I've been away for a while and uh, I know I've gotten some subscribers and I really appreciate that. You know, I've gotten a lot of new subscribers here um, <clears throat> over the past couple of years. And, you know, I've been on and off, uh, mostly off, but... Uh, I haven't made a scripting tutorial video a video tutorial I haven't made a scripting video tutorial in about two years and I notice people are still subscribing to my YouTube channel and I really uh, think I should pay some more attention to that and, and hopefully we can uh, continue on with making some good scripts I'm glad to see that people are still interested in Second Life and uh, I've been a resident of Second Life for almost 10 years. It's 2014. A few months will mark my 10-year anniversary as a resident of Second Life. And so, without further ado, let's get on with uh, this scripting tutorial. And we've got the big script book out here. It's empty, so we're going to go over into... Actually, we have a name for that states but we're not gonna we're not gonna do this lesson we're just gonna change it to script book lessons and we're gonna fill this book up with some uh, some new s scripts so we put a new script in here let's open it up and so we've got the default uh, <clears throat> script and what I want to do is I want to talk about a few things here I'm going to go over, it's going to be a scripting tutorial, all of the basics in 10 minutes. Huh. So I will try. And we're going to talk about these four things right here, which are all the basics uh, for the most part. And variables, functions, states, and events. And then states, uh, real, you know, real easily, we can start with that because that's what we have here. So we have the default state. And everything that happens within this state is called an event. So we have this event, uh, which is a state entry, and this event, which is touch start. These are events that happen within the default state. Now I can create another state. Let's say state uh, 2. And I will open and close that with curly braces. Now I can put events inside of this state. And each state will have a state entry. And uh, open and curl close curly braces on the event, on every event. So we'll have a state entry in state 2. And let's say that we're going to have a, uh, a touch start event as well and so we're gonna uh, just give that the open and close curly braces but we have a, pr a parameter here in the touch start event and actually I spelled that wrong there we go correct that and this parameter for this touch start event is an integer so that brings us to uh, our basically our first uh, on the list here is variables uh, so we've, we've kind of discussed the states and events in one, and we're going to move on to variables. So our, our variable uh, for this touch start is an integer, and it can be a whole number. And I think, uh, okay, up here in the default state, the default variable for the touch start event they call this total number and you can call this anything you want you can call it Frank you can call it Jim you know I mean you can, you can call it milk it doesn't really matter you're just giving a name to that variable so when I go ahead and save this uh, it should compile successfully and even though we don't have any uh, anything going on inside of our events in state 2 I can still save this and that will compile successfully and yeah so the script book lesson says hello avatar down here in local chat because that is 
our function that brings us to uh, the last of the basics is the functions that we use inside of the events which is inside the state now the default state has two events state entry touch start okay so state entry has a function and this is uh, LL say and it's uh, it's got its own parameters so it's saying this on, on channel 0 which is the local chat channel and it's saying hello avatar in, in chat text and so that's the function inside this event so every time that the default state is triggered the state entry is triggered just like that immediately and that's gonna happen and so when we have another event such as the touch start event um, <clears throat> it has an integer okay variable and we've we've called it milk and so when that event triggers this will happen this uh, LL say message and it will say touched and so we've already saved and compiled that let's close out our build window and let's actually touch the book and you can see that the script book lesson says touched and so that is the basics of how to build a script um, and in many scripts we're not even going to worry about the states because every every script has a default state and most scripts don't even need another state now as you get into more advanced programming uh, you will you may want to use multiple states or you, you may want to use multiple scripts or both uh, depending on what you're really trying to accomplish so anyways uh, Mitz is back and uh, hopefully we're gonna do some more great things in Second Life and uh, I'm glad to see that it's it's still alive and kicking so with that, I will say we'll catch you next time.